Howdy, my name is Ian Wright with the Utah Cultural Site Stewardship Program. And I'm Matthew Podolinski, the assistant coordinator for the program. We are coming to you from a super cool site today. This is Gilgal Gardens. It's in the middle of Salt Lake City. And it's this is a unique site because it's, a, it's in an urban environment. Oftentimes our sites are, are way out there, but we were able to partner with both the city of Salt Lake and also Friends of Gilgal to get stewards here so that they can keep an eye on this awesome spot. Okay, so we wanted to give you an update on the UCSS get together that's coming up on October 7th and 8th in beautiful Cedar City, Utah. Awesome. Yeah, so first off on October 7th, Friday evening, we're going to be at that Frontier Homestead State Park Museum. It's going to be an awesome opportunity to meet up with fellow stewards, chat about the program. We're going to have snacks and then very exciting, we're going to have the opportunity for an after hours tour of the museum and the area. So should be a pretty good time on Friday night. We've built out a really cool schedule for Saturday, October 8th. Uh, based on your feedback, the activities will be more hands-on and more action-oriented. So Liz Stevens with the Fremont Indian State Park, she's actually gonna teach us the history, the evolution, and the use of the bow drill. You guys will have an opportunity to build your own and to learn from an expert. So next time you leave your lighter home, no problem. Bust out your bow drill. The second workshop will be with Scott Whiteside with the Bureau of Land Management. If you've ever seen those prehistoric duck decoys that they find out in the West Desert, well, he knows how to make them. So we've invited him to come. He's gonna tell us a little bit about their history, their use, and we're gonna have an opportunity to make your very own duck decoy. So you guys better get your finger stretches going. Next, everyone's gonna have the opportunity to visit the Southern Utah University Archaeological Repository. Barb Frank, who's the director of the repository, is gonna give us a tour, which is gonna be a really fun uh, activity in the afternoon. Okay. And then just like the workshops, you're gonna to get to choose between two of site visits for the afternoon. Two uh, of site visits? Two of site visits. <laughs> so just like the workshops, you get to choose between two site visits in the afternoon. Uh, we've chosen these site visits because they're going to give you some new perspectives and also some new skills for when you go out into the sites to go and steward them. <laughs> I think that's funny. So one of the tours is going to be going out to Parowan Gap. It's a phenomenal rock imagery site. If you've been there once or a thousand times, you, this is still going to be an incredible excursion out to this site. Nate Thomas, the Deputy Preservation Officer of the BLM, has uh, been kind enough to uh, agree to help lead this visit. It's going to be a lot of fun. The second tour will be to the Mountain Meadow Massacre site. This is a site west of Cedar City. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has been generous enough to give us this tour. They're gonna to send a historian along with us. Um, you know, much has been written about this site and this is a great opportunity to learn so much more about an, an area that's played such a significant role in Utah 19th century history. So if you have not already registered for your event, please follow the link below to do so. And if you are a steward, you get to bring along one guest. But wait, Matt, there's more. More? Yeah, the UCSS team has a new member. Let me introduce you. Hi, everyone. My name is Lexi Carson. I'm the new data and event specialist for the program. I'm super excited to meet all of you and to be a part of this program. The link to my bio is below, so make sure you check it out. Two, three. We, we look, look forward, forward to, to seeing you in October! October.